There are two types of successful destinations in this world, freedom and power. What is freedom and power? Freedom is the right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Power is the capabilities or abilities to direct influence the behaviors of others or a course of event. With these two definitions, I believe that freedom and power are opposite of each other. Freedom is the control of oneself, meanwhile power is the control of others. These are the only two paths to success that everyone in this world wants to achieve. With this being said, how do we achieve them? Freedom and power are defined to be opposite, however, they do have something in common. Both paths need great responsibility. You might have heard of the saying, Inspire Men by Uncle Uncle Ben, with great power come great responsibility. I admire the saying due to how true it is. If you want power, you need to take on responsibilities. Before I talk about responsibilities, I need to define them first. Responsible is defined as having an obligations to do something, or having control over or care for someone, as part of one job's or role. With this definition be mentioned, someone with powers will be the one to have obligation to do what is must. I already mentioned a great saying about power. However, what about freedom? According to Chuck Willing, a retired Navy SEAL, discipline equal freedom. It is visible that this is saying does not mention the term responsibility. However, it will replace with disciplines. So this means that the disciplines and responsibilities desire each other. Discipline is to control gains by enforcing obedience or order. How does this desire responsibilities? Before I mentioned that being responsible is to care for or control someone or something. To care for or control will take time and money. It is an act of repetitions and commitment. That is all responsibilities is all about. We are responsible for our life, loved one, and much more. Now what is repetition and commitment without consistency and perseverance? This is where self disciplines matter the most. It's not a destination, but the journey. Self disciplines is ability to control one's feeling and overcome one's weaknesses. It's the ability to pursue what one thinks is right and is despite temptations to abandon it. If we want to connect the definitions of disciplines I've mentioned before, self-disciplines is to enforce obedience or order of oneself. How do we obtain self-disciplines? Self-disciplines for many is difficult. The reason for this is the habits that were built over years in the past. People who consume unhealthy products will have a difficult time observing the right nutritious products. We need to break this cycle. How do we do that? The right way to do that is through gaining responsibilities. Whether they like it or not, these habits or have or problems that need to be fixed in their life. What is the solution to these habits that ruin many lives? The only solution is to define the problems and take counter actions against it. These counter actions are our response to it. It's our plan. A good plan is back up with experiences, lessons, and knowledge. Without any of these, we will make a lot of mistakes. However, it is okay to make mistakes. Mistakes are natural in our life because we can learn from them. Thus, learning is how we can gain experiences, lessons, and knowledge. This is the cycle of wisdom. Going back to the principle of how repetition and commitment require consistency and perseverance. I already talk about this one saying. The saying is plan your work and work your plan. When we follow this saying, we will create our self emissions. For me, emissions is what I value in my life. This is where I can prioritize the decisions between the path of freedom versus the power for my future. What decisions do I want to make first? There is a reason why I ask these questions. The reason is that we would not only want to focus on one path solely, a successful life, we will need a mixture of both. However, it is recommended to have a dominance of one path over the other. The longer we follow these missions, the more responsibilities we will obtain. This is because of growth due to compound of interest if the plan turned out to be successful and profitable. Growth is a process of increasing um, in amount, value, or importance. When your business is growing, your capital asset and empire will grow. Therefore, it will increase your responsibilities. With this being said, the growth of capital asset and manpower will give you more power and freedom. Since the decisions between power and freedom depend on your values. It's also determined our response to the growth of capital's asset and manpower. To put these assets and stakeholders in our care and order, what determine good values from bad? Values to the regard that something had to be desired, the importance or worth or usefulness 
of something. Now, let's just talk about the two type of values. When take on the path of powers, many people value status and hierarchy. This is the reason why many people want to be CEO and famous celebrity. This is how they will gain the most recognitions from their audience and customer. As celebrities, they can afford to live luxuriously due to the resources that, will, that they will attain. What are the resources I am talking about? As described before, a growing organization will increase their capital, assets, and manpower. Right now, we are talking about celebrities. This means that their resources or their fan, money, and high-end luxuries products. These resources resources will need to be maintained because it is their responsibility. What if they do not manage it? The resources will decrease over time. They do not care about their fan and they do not re respect their fan. Respect is earned and is not given. With this being said, the celebrities need to treat their fan like they want to be treated as a normal individual. Now what about money and high-end luxuries? It's factual that they need a lot of money to buy the high-end luxuries. So why did I mention both. There is a difference between an affordable value car versus a high-end car like Lamborghini. Both of these cars were made to be to do the same jobs. The jobs of the vehicles is to go to get from point A to point B without much movement of their bodies and time wasted. With that being mentioned, what is the point of high-end luxury products? It's all about recognitions, impressions, and branding. This is what people think power is all about. Celebrities and rich people tend to be affected by the style inflations. Here is a high chance that people will, will give them attentions and recognitions. However, what about long-term management after the impressions are settled down? There are two types of management. These two type of self and other management. Before we dive right into this, in the term of long-term effect, it is crucial that we want people by luxury products. They need the money to back them up. People need to live within their means. They still want to buy luxury products, however, but do not have the income or savings to back them up. They will be in debt. Loans is a great system because people can pay subscriptions every month so they can use the products. However, luxury products will inflate the subscriptions many times over. This is the individual's responsibility to repay off these subscriptions or it will backfire on them. When people are not able to pay off these payments, they will risk filing for bankruptcy and will be forced to give up everything. This is the opposite of power or freedom. The second type of management is to manage other people. People can't simply control other people. You may argue that the authority can, however, people who are being controlled will lose their trust or hate them. A high-end CEO is not an authority because of the stakeholder. Stakeholder are the individuals or groups who have a vast interest in the company and will be affected by a business organizations and performance. Both customer and employee are the stakeholders. They can cause the CEO to either be successful or to fail. With this being said, it is not about control, but rather it's about influence. Influence is the capabilities to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone or something. Both freedom and power need at least some level of influence. Of course, power will need more influence than freedom due to the management's responsibilities they acquire. Why did I mention this? For the individual who value freedom over the responsibility of status, which is power, they will focus on themselves a lot more than others. They will still require some level of influence, however, they will settle for a good enough life at some point. Soon, the only influence that they will manage is the acceptance of rejections of influence from others. The reason for this is that when they reach true freedom, they don't need to care for any other aspect of life. This is where the outside interruptions. The outside environments and distractions will try to influence the free individual. How will they influence them? They will enforce desires and temptations. Before I continue, what is true freedom? True freedom to me is when we have an abundance of time and money. Why did I only mention time and money? I believe time and money are the foundations for everything in our life. Everything from career to family depend on time and money. Therefore, it is our asset. If we have an abundance of these assets, we will have a happier life. The enforcement of desires and temptations from the outside environment will want to take that away. What happens if they are successful? If they are successful, the worst case scenario is that the freed individual will lose all their accomplishments and go back to the very beginning, or even worse. How do we prevent this? The simple answer is just do the opposite of, of being influenced by desires and temptations. The solution to this is disciplines and meditations. 
What about when we first start trying to be free? If we have already reached true freedom, it is recommended that we do not go back to the beginning. The reason for this is that starting the journeys is always the hardest part. Why is this the case? It is the lack of resources that will slow down the process. As I said before, these assets or our time and money. With the goal of true freedom, we do not have to worry about money. While we are not working for a certain amount of time, this is called cash flow. We will get paid even when we are sleeping. The truth about cash flow, we need a decent amount of capital up front. How do we achieve this? There's a saying, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Second best time is now. What is this quote talking about? It is true that to have a decent amount of return every month and year, we need a lot of capital up front. However, it will be difficult to already have a capital save up. How do we fix this? We have to use time to have advantage. In the United States, we will retire at the age of 67. This means that whether we are 20 year olds or 30 year old, we will get decades to make a difference. We will make a difference by investing every day. This is the power of compound effect. We will start this compound effect by investing a little of our money over time for each of our paycheck. With our investment, it will take one or two decades to reach the status status of a millionaire. When I'm talking about being a millionaire, there are two ways to this could happen. Either our capital grow up to one million dollar or we will get paid one million dollar every year. Reaching millionaires status is ideal for everyone in this world. Why is this the case? We will have both freedom and power. At one million dollar invested in dividends yield stocks with an average of four percent return per year, we can make a living of it with a salary of about forty thousand dollars in modern time. An annual salaries of $40,000 might not be enough to retire. However, it will give up the ease of mind that we do not have to force ourselves to work for money, but rather focus on the passionate project in our life. The passionate project will give us a purpose in life. The purpose is really impactful in our life. Why is this the case? It is a reason for us to live on. We will create priorities, goals, and achievements for our life to reach our purpose. With this knowledge, it will give us a strategy for our life. This strategy is to be simple. This strategy is important because there is too much noise and distraction in this world. Each of us should have one primary passion that we will sacrifice our entire life for. Notice how I said our entire life? We will have almost a century to live. A period of 100 years seem really long. However, it could be really short if people are purposely busy enough. This could be a bad thing or a good thing. A good thing is that with a busy life, there will be responsibility. This will increase their focus, discipline, and accountabilities. The bad thing is that a busy life will make people burnt out. People will be overwhelmed when there are too much information and too many things to do. This will lead from strong emotions to extreme emotions like depression or anxiety. This is not freedom or power. This is why time management matter a lot in life. We need time management because there is more to life than work. To simplify aspect of life to management time more easily, there are three aspects, career, relationship, and self. Time management is about the balance of all three. This is where three eighths rule shines. Why does this rule matter? The first eight rules are the hours of our nine to five. It is hour of our jobs. The second eight rules are dedicated to relationship and self. These relationship or significant others families and friends. Self is about passion, hobby, and mindfulness. Whether you want freedom or power, you need a balance and control all 24 hours of your days. This is what life is all about. The next strategy for time management is to break the 3 8 rules. There are 24 hours in the days, however, the three categories will not be evenly divided into 8 for each. Many people like me honestly would not have a full 8 hours of sleep. If people can bring most or all of their 8 hours to the hours spent for their lover, family and friends, and self, it is the dream for all. If they can build a living with just the passions, they will, they will love to work every day. There is no promise that they will not be burnt out. However, if this is their purpose, they will eventually enjoy it again. This is due to legacy, a long lasting impact of particular event, actions, etc. that took place in a part or of a person's life. People who love to share and inspire new candidates into the art of anything will leave behind a legacy. This is a new purpose after they have mastered the craft. This is freedom. Now what about power? We cannot mention power without competitions. It doesn't matter what skills and art form you master, the impressions and representations of the best of all time cannot be defeated. With this being said, if people want true power, they need to be the top or even the best competitor for their art. 
When this happened, the next thing is that they will gain status through their competency. This is what influencer should be all about. This is a pro for power in terms of legacy. However, what about the cons? The cons is that people who chase the top of the competitions will tend to be as obsessed or addicted to the grind. This happened to many rich people in the world. They want to be richer and richer. There's nothing wrong about with this. Obsessions and addictions can lead to negligence for many other important aspects of life. These aspects can be relationship, health, or many other things. This is why we need to be self-aware and demonstrate self-reflections. Spending time working out and spending time with our loved one matter a lot too. 